Hey guys, it's Lainey. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this pretzel cake. This is a sweet, salty dessert, so if you love those types of desserts, let's begin! So in a large bowl, you're going to add one cup of melted butter, half a cup of granulated sugar, one cup of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two eggs. And then you're going to take your handheld mixer and you're going to mix it until everything is mixed in very well. Then in the same bowl, you're going to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt, and you're just going to continue mixing. Then you're going to add half a cup of the crushed pretzels and about half of the chocolate chips, and you're going to continue mixing it until it's well combined. And then you're going to add the batter into the eight by eight inch pan, which I had added parchment paper and I also oiled it down to make it easier to remove. And then I added the rest of the pretzels and then popped those in the oven to bake. So while this was baking, I made my chocolate to drizzle over the cake, which is just the rest of the chocolate chips and two teaspoons of oil, and I just warmed it up for like 30 minutes or 30 seconds. So using the same spoon, I just drizzled the chocolate over the cake. And oh my goodness, guys, the sweet and the salty of the pretzels or the saltiness of the pretzels just made this so delicious. My sister actually brought this to her work and all of them loved it. I'm sure you guys will love it too. This hits the spot if you're a chocolate lover who also likes to add a little salt when eating chocolate. Um, it's very thick and very cake-like. I'm sure you guys will love it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you want to see some breakfast desserts, a cake recipe, or cupcakes. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Guys. You made it to the very end. Please do subscribe to get all of my latest recipes. And if you want to watch more videos like these, click anywhere on the screen.